painting peeps and welcome it's kathleen from cause creations as always i am glad that you have joined me here in the no bra zone we're gonna do a quick little ditty today i got a 12 by 12 inch gallery wrap canvas here and um, I usually don't paint small. Nothing wrong with painting small, but painting big, I got more space. I got more room to play with, and uh, that makes me happy. But a very good friend of mine, uh, sweet Ellen. Hi, Ellen. She had some things. She, um, she took a break from painting, and I uh, went and gathered up the things that uh, she didn't want to take up space in her little shop anymore and a bunch of 12 by 12s and some of these pretty little uh, floating frames from my belief this is from uh, um, uh, Jerry's Artorama, their illusion frames. So this is a 12 by 12 with a black uh, background and kind of a rustic silver edge to it. So I figured I'll paint something on this little guy. Um, been doing yard work all day and needed a bit of a break before from the sun. My skin is getting all red and pink and suntannish, so um, I took a break to come in, uh, put my rake and my shovel down, <laughs> and um, came into my happy place for a while. So let's talk about our yummy colors here. Um, in this pretty little cup right here, we have a mix of Deco Art Metallics Pearl, which is a heavy body paint. I added just a tablespoon or so of the iridescent pearl for good luck, one of my faves, you guys know that. And uh, mixed it up with my pouring medium, which is 50% um, Floetrol and 50% golden pouring medium because I am out of GAC 800 and it's working just fine for me. In this pretty little cup we have a combination of uh, chroma molten metals. This is a plum purple and extreme sheen amethyst. These two are about 50% to 50% with the pouring medium. So my paint ratio is about one part paint to two parts pouring medium. If it's a heavier bottle body paint like the Deco Arts, a little bit more pouring medium. I stir it. I don't measure, guys. It's all done by the feel. And um, I stir it, and then I decide at that point if it's not the right thickness, I add a little bit of my PM to it because um, GAC 800 is very fluid compared to Floetrol. And so is Liquitex pouring medium as well as golden pouring medium. So my paints are very fluid. I very rarely need to add any water to them. This right here is uh, Artist Loft High Flow Black. And because these are all kind of shimmery and metallic-y, I wanted my black to be. So I added a couple tablespoons of this uh, Pearl Essence by Sargent, uh, which gives it a nice little shimmer. This cup right here is my Yummy Yummy Deco Art Metallics 24 Karat Gold. And I added about a tablespoon of my Golden Iridescent Gold to this as well. Our final color is Deco Art Sterling Silver. This is a nice paint, guys. <laughs> and golden iridescent silver. Once again, I added this to my cup and added about a tablespoon of this to it, stirred that up, and then I added my pouring medium to get to the consistency of like warm honey uh, falling off your stick. Uh, Karen Durson, I heard say that, and that kind of stuck with me. So warm honey falling off the stick. When that paint hits the puddle of the paint below, it leaves a very, very little trace. It doesn't clump on down into that paint in that cup. So I hope that helps. So many of you have asked me to do a video on paint mixing, and I promise I will, but I learned from some really good people out there. There's some wonderful Molly from Molly's Artistry. She's got a really in-depth uh, 
paint mixing uh, video, Heather Mater. Um, there are just so many out there who have done that, Courtney Hauscher. So um, check those guys out, and um, I promise that I'll get on that uh, paint, paint mixing band wagon video for you as soon as I can. So I'm going to go ahead and get quiet, put some music on for me to dance to, put some music on for you to dance to, and I think I'm just going to do a... Um, a simple little pour here. Thanks for joining me guys. I'm wishing you good health and happiness. Be well. Talk to you soon. Thank you.